wanted to get it right Trying to find some balance in my life I never really put up a fight And now I'm losing sleep What if I lost touch? gas prices soaring across the nation. According to AAA, a gallon of gas jumped almost 10 cents in 24 hours. These are the averages across the Carolinas, still below the national average of $4.31. Tonight, we are all feeling the pinch at the pump, but imagine having a 200 gallon tank to fill. Truckers are really feeling the impact, and as WCNC Charlotte's Hunter Signs explains, some are parking their trucks because of it. They are the travelers who spend days, weeks, some even months out on our interstates, burning through hundreds of gallons of fuel. But tonight, some of the truck drivers who move the nation aren't moving at all. It's making me want to cry. Truck drivers taken aback by the fuel prices they're paying. It doesn't make sense to me. If I owned a truck, I'd probably shut it down and go home. Outrageous. Drivers pulling into this gas station in North Charlotte, coughing up a lot more money for a tank of gas. Before the inflation, probably uh, $300. Now it's costing 600. James McCurdy has been driving semis for 37 years, and on his way to New Jersey, his company is telling him to stop idling the truck to save on fuel. In the wintertime, we can't shut it down because we'll freeze to death in the truck. AAA says the average for a gallon of diesel in North Carolina is $5.06. It's crazy. Edward Hayes drove into Charlotte from Texas. I'm spending about $800, $850 to fill up. He's an owner and operator, meaning he personally pays up to fill up. With the high prices he and others are choosing to park their trucks, it's just too tough to make a profit. It's not worth me moving the truck if I can't make both, you know, if, if I can't make a check and also pay for fuel. Hayes and the rest of those truck drivers are reminding you if they are paying these higher prices, ultimately you, the consumer who buys the things that they're transporting around, will be stuck paying higher prices too. They are all now begging for less pain at the pump. In having a conversation with my husband, he does agree with everything that they said. He is an owner operator of his truck, and I'm seeing the changes. He's having to actually come home every night now instead of taking extra loads out that would get us extra money. So it is affecting everybody, and it will affect how we get our supplies definitely. So don't procrastinate. Get what you need now because it may not be there tomorrow or it may cost way too much to get. Also, he said it's not a new thing for companies to ask their drivers to not to idle their trucks. They've been doing that for years to save on fuel, but they're really doing it now. They're asking them to do it. And it gets cold at night for those truckers. So if truckers do decide that they're just going to park their truck, their wheels aren't going to spin, then the economy is going to fall. The prices are still going to go up. So you're not going to be able to afford the items that you would have yesterday or the day before that. So get it today. If I'm in my covers in my truck, I'm cool. Yeah. I mean, it depends. I'm in my truck. That's why I'm coming home every night if I'm not out there doing extra loads because I don't want to out on my truck. Mm -hmm. It's cheaper for me to put $34 in gas and it come home right now. Well, that's that's another good reason why we stopped up on food. Yeah. So that's one less thing you got to worry about. Well, we still need to stock up some more. I know. Yeah.